Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create a virtual standby plan. First, you will need to protect a node or multiple nodes. And to do this, you need to create a plan with a backup task, which will take a backup of the data and create recovery points, and a virtual standby task, which converts the recovery points to virtual machine formats and prepares a snapshot to easily recover your data when needed. These tasks must be included in this plan. A plan consists of one or more tasks that are required to protect your nodes. And a task is a set of activities to define such information as the source, destination, schedule, and advanced parameters. This feature also provides a high availability capability and ensures that the virtual machine can take over immediately if your source machine fails. The virtual standby machine is created by converting the recovery points to a VMware or Hyper-V virtual machine format. Before you can add the virtual standby plan, you will first need to verify the following prerequisites from the ArcServe UDB console. Make sure you add all the virtual machine nodes to the UDB console that you want to protect. Make sure that you install the server component and create the necessary data stores if you want to store the backup data to recovery point server. Make sure that you have a valid recovery point that you can use to create a virtual standby machine from. These recovery points can be from any of the following tasks. A backup agent-based Windows task, a backup host-based agentless task, a replicate task, or a replicate from a remote recovery point server task. Remember that the creation of a backup plan is a prerequisite to creating the virtual standby plan. As a result, you must create the backup plan in advance. In this video, we'll show you how to add a virtual standby task to an existing backup plan. If you need more information about creating a backup plan, you can refer to the product documentation or view the corresponding video. Okay, so let's get started. To create a virtual standby plan, you can either modify an existing backup plan or create a new plan, which includes both a backup task and a virtual standby task. Remember, regardless of which method you use, a backup task must always be included with a virtual standby task. Let's modify an existing backup plan. From the UDP homepage, click Resources, then Expand Plans, and then click All Plans. Click the plan that you want to modify. Here, I'll select the new test plan. And the Modify Plan page opens. From here, click Add a Task, and a new Task 2 will appear. From the Task Type drop-down menu, select Virtual Standby. As a side note, you can also add a virtual standby task with a replicate to a remote recovery point server task, which is applicable for remote replication. The four tabs display the properties of the selected virtual standby task. These tabs are Source, Virtualization Server, Virtual Machine, and Advanced. You must enter the details for every tab. Let's start with the Source tab. From the Source tab, select the virtual standby source. Remember that if you have added only a backup task, then the source is automatically selected from the backup task and displayed as the virtual standby source. However, if your plan includes a replicate task along with a backup task, then you'll have the option to select the source from the drop-down list. The option will then list the destination from the backup task as well as the destination from the replicate task. Click the Virtualization Server tab. From here, you need to enter the details of the virtualization server and the monitoring server. For the virtualization type, you can select either VMware or Hyper-V. For this video, let's select VMware. Provide the details and credentials about the ESX host vCenter. Next, you need to check or uncheck the Use Monitor Server as Proxy for Data Transfer option. By default, this option is checked and allows the monitor server to copy the conversion data from the ArcServe UDP agent node to the ESX server data store. The data transfer will use a fiber channel communication, which is much faster than using the LAN communication to transfer the data. However, only the write operation for the conversion is performed over the fiber channel. The read operation will be performed over the LAN. If you uncheck or disable this option, it will let the ArcServe UDP agent node copy the conversion data directly to the data store onto the ESX server system. Next, click the Virtual Machine tab and enter the details for the Virtual Machine basic settings, data stores, and networks. 
Finally, click the Advanced tab. This tab lets you include additional parameters to the task. For Email Alerts, check the Email Alerts option and select the options that you want to apply for the Virtual Standby task and click Save. The Virtual Standby task is automatically deployed to the Virtual Standby server. You have now successfully created and deployed a Virtual Standby plan. After you verified that the plan is successfully created, you can check whether the backup job is running as scheduled, task 1, and then after the backup job has successfully completed, the virtual standby job will then run, task 2. You can verify the results using the Resources and Dashboard tabs. From the Resources tab, click All Nodes to verify that your plan is displayed and mapped with the nodes. And from the Dashboard tab, click All Jobs to verify the status of the backup job and virtual standby job. That's it. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.